eyeshadows like how you get a clean canvas before you do your eyeshadows need one is number one is a concealer you're gonna need a dense fluffy brush people use their fingers to do so some people use beauty blenders to do you this is what i use to set my or you can use a compact powder so <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to the empire if you're passing by for the first time please feel free to join us and feel free to be part of this family by subscribing and hitting the notification bell down below so you get notified every time i put up my videos i try as much as i can to put up my videos every week i know that we delayed this video but we are here today and today i'm going to share with you to show you guys how to create a clean canvas for your eyeshadow to have a you know before you do your eyeshadows how you prep your leads and how you you know you get a clean slate to do that so i hope you guys will enjoy this video uh, it's going to be a very short video but detailed i hope you guys enjoy this video to the fullest don't forget to comment don't forget to share don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up and most definitely don't forget to subscribe please subscribe to your girl's channel i noticed that 65 percent of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed why <laughs> don't you want to see this pretty face onto your screens please subscribe to my channel and yeah support your girl so without further ado let's just get straight into that video so guys as for the title of the video today i am going to be showing you guys how to have a clean slate for your eyeshadows like how you get a clean canvas before you do your eyeshadows because it's really really important for you to prep your eye your eyelids before you go in with your eyeshadow and you start applying so the same way you prep your face you prep your skin for your foundations and for your you know powders and everything is the same way you want to go ahead and prep your lids for your eyeshadow so the first things you're going to need one is number one is a concealer um i normally use the ala pro conceal this is in the shade font this is the one i used to clean out my brows and then you're gonna need a dense fluffy brush just like this it's like a flat dense fluffy brush some people blend this is for blending or for packing in your concealer onto your lid some people use their fingers to do so some people use beauty blenders to do so but i just find an eyeshadow brush a flat fluffy one to be good for me that is what i use and then i'm going to need another brush just I, any other brush fluffy or dense or light that's up to you this is what i use to set my lid and you're gonna need your powder you can use your sasha buttercup powder or your loose powder or you can use a compact powder so i normally go in with the compact powder my shade this is the illegal pro powder in the shade warm caramel then i also use an eyeshadow palette i do not use a loose powder i use an eyeshadow palette that is the cara eyeshadow palette i use a lighter shade to you know set the outer part of my you know brow bone area let me just get straight into the tutorial for you guys to understand what i'm trying to say but i've already done a uh, part of my eyebrows and i mean my eyebrows and one of my eyes of camera so i'm just going to do this eye then i'm going to finish off the rest of my face of camera then i'm going to come back so i'll use this brush right here and i'll take a little bit of that LA Pro Conceal and I'll just pack it on my lid like this and I'll just use tapping motions and they just blend it all the way up high up to my all the way to my brow bone area just like this really want to be careful you don't rub your eyebrows because y'all know it takes you forever to do them so you can imagine if you rub them it's gonna be like not a good thing so you want to prep you just want to press it you don't want to use too much and you don't want to use too little either so you drag it all the way to the outer corner of your eyes and the inner corner you can take it all up to your nose it's okay so like that the reason why we use a concealer to set or to you know uh, we use a concealer before we go in with our eyeshadows is because normally our lids have different shades of color so we just want to have like one color going on like we don't have to we don't want to have different shades of colors on our eyelids we just want to have one color for our canvas as our canvas so that once we are doing our eyebrows things are going to be you know um on the right place so you're just going to continue to tap that onto your skin like that use gentle motions gentle strokes until you get like your whole lid covered with concealer and it's well you know 
well balanced because you don't want to have any of those um any of those eyelid colors your natural eyelid color peeping through your eyeshadows as you're doing them like it's just meant to have like a clean soft canvas for you to just you know have something nice for your eyeshadows to pop into so that is just all you need to do when it comes to the concealer part just make sure you cover each and every part that is peeping through that has not been covered by the concealer be very gentle and take your time to do that because it's very very important this is to ensure that the reason why you prep is to ensure that your eyeshadow lasts long and also that your eyeshadow doesn't move around all the time so once you apply something it just sticks up there it doesn't move around so once that is done the next thing you want to do is take your powder so i normally take in my ala profess powder this is a you take a powder that is uh, the same powder you use that is your shade the one you use to set your entire face and what i do with this powder is that i i set the front part of my eyelid so this part over here this is what i do just so that it looks natural and it doesn't look um like the something we applied look like skin yeah so i normally don't set like my entire lid i just set this part over here like the upper parts of my um eyelid area just right there this is for the front part and then i'm going to take another shade of powder or eyeshadow to set the outer part of my uh see the way it looks like it's it's like smooth transition going on over there it's like so smooth so um i'm going to take now my eyeshadow from the shade uh from the cara eyeshadow palette this is the palette that I normally use all the time. So I'm going to take this shade. I'm sure most of you have seen me pointing this shade so many times. You don't even understand what I do with it. So this is what I do. So I'm going to take this shade over here. And with the same brush I used to set the front part, I am going to tap in that into the shade. And then I'm going just to tap it on my outer, you know, underneath my brow bone area. Just to set that part here. So... The reason why I'm using a lighter shade compared to the one I used on the front part is that your brow bone, underneath your brow bone area is normally light. It's normally the part that the sun hits, so it's normally so highlighted, it's always popping out. So we want it to pop out even more. So I'm just going to set that just right there. Then I'm just going to take the same powder, the same eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to set the crease part right here. The reason why I'm doing that is to prevent my eyeshadow from skimping while I am doing like I'm doing this motion so it doesn't like get stuck, it's not moving. So it's just to have a smooth transitioning area right there. I already discussed with you guys the parts of the eye. So once I'm saying my transitioning area, I know you guys understand what I'm trying to say. If you haven't seen that video, I'll be sure to link it up for you guys to check it out. The parts of the eye and their names and all that so today we're just i'm just showing you how to prepare your parts of the eye and how i do mine so yeah just like that so that's just basically done i do not set like my entire lid the way most of the people do i just set that part and you see now we have like a clean canvas going on over there the reason why i do not set my entire lid is because i want my concealer to act as a base for my shadow so that it's tacky enough to you know grab any shadow that i put on top of my lid i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to say so i'm almost done so the next thing i normally do once i've said that i make sure that i am setting i am you know tapping the concealer so that i don't have any creases going on on the parts that i've not set with powder and then i go in with a highlighter you can use a highlighter of your choice i normally use my fable highlighter this is the one i use i'm sure you guys have seen me use this a thousand times so this is the one i use and i take a tiny brush um and then i set i highlight the upper part of my brow bone area right here i do not like highlighting my brow bone area after i have started with my eyeshadow i like doing it before so that you know when i do my eyeshadow you can see sorry you can see my highlight you know blended inside the eyeshadow right here but not on top you know versus me just doing my eyes and then packing the you know packing the highlight on top of my underneath my brow bone area it just goes on top of the eyeshadow just find it not looking all nice and cool and everything so i just use uh this highlighting shade and i just highlight this part over here so you just go 
with the round circular motions like I was, I was just blending in my eyeshadow so I use that and I do it to my satisfaction and how much I want it to pop so yeah that's that Once you do this step and then you do your eyeshadow, you're going to notice that your eyeshadow is going to pop out so much. It's going to look so good. It's going to look like, I don't know, it's just going to look all well blended. So um, that is just like basically all that I do before I go in with my eyeshadows. It's not too much work, but it's worth it. Like it will give you your eyeshadow a clean canvas to stick on. It's such an amazing technique you want to try it out see the way you have a smooth transition going on over there like it's here it looks just like it's my skin like we don't have any product going on so i really like doing that and i find it to be so um just beautiful so that's basically everything i do when it comes to me prepping my lids for eyeshadows so what i'm going to do now is do the rest of my face of camera as usual because i feel like i just wanted you guys to understand how to get a clean canvas very very important for you to have a clean canvas for your eyeshadows so let me go ahead and do this it's going to look you see the way now um i don't know how i'm going to explain this but once you've done your eyeshadows it doesn't look like we have so much colors going on behind the eyeshadow we just have a clean slate and it looks good and it looks amazing so I am going to finish the rest of my eye and the rest of my face of camera then I'm going to come back with my final look and you guys are gonna see how uh, this whole entire eyeshadow look is going to turn out I'm just going to create the same right over here so that is all I'm going to do and then um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I hope you guys learned something new today and also um, please comment down below let me know what else you want me to you know talk about when it comes to eyeshadow this is like a series I started with parts of the eyes and the names and all that and one eyeshadow tutorial so today I was just I just wanted to share with you guys how you prep your lids the same thing you do to these eyes the same thing you do to the other eyes so you just basically do the same things to both eyes and you're good to go so comment down below let me know what else you want us to talk about when it comes to your eyeshadow and i am going to dig into that very quickly so let me just finish my face and then i'm going to come back mm -hmm.